wrapping for you. I'm going to call you over We're the red castle. Students enjoy just doing Kahoot all together. Whenever I mention it, they're excited. They're opening their Chromebook, signing in right away, trying to figure out what name they're gonna use for themselves or a little emoji, their character. Any kind of question or activity that I do on it, they're automatically engaged because it's Kahoot. Yay! Yay! The more you use it and the way you use it in your classroom, it really can be like part of the lesson and a really positive thing, not really kind of like just letting kids play games because it's more than a game, you know? Kahoot is a great tool for you to use as you want to use it. Um, it's adaptable to how whatever you need. If you want to make it a, a game, if you want to make it a learning tool, if you want to make it um, team mode or individual mode, it's very user friendly. You could type your own questions. If you don't want to type your own questions, search something up and then you could edit it. And editing is very easy. Adding questions, deleting questions, and making it your own and then it becomes your Kahoot. It engages students, it keeps them on task, it's a great way for them to study, um, create even their own. We have a lot of our students that create their own cahoots as a review um, after a unit or even to study for an exam that's coming up. So it's great that it's not just a teacher-led platform, but it can be a student-led platform as well. When they come into the room and I start, when as soon as they hear the music, they know that Kahoot is coming and it's like, can we Kahoot, can we Kahoot, Kahoot? After watching them play today and how much they enjoyed all these new types of game modes, they went crazy for uh, Submarine Squad and Treasure Trove. So I'll definitely be using those a lot more um, because it was so engaging for them. They were so excited they wanted to keep playing over and over again. I like the game modes. It, it adds variety because they always ask me to play for who they really enjoy the new game features because they it seems like they're acting more as a teamwork instead of individual. Kahoot is wonderful for every learner. I love the fact that it repeats information over and over again, so students with disabilities are able to reinforce their learning because they need constant repetition. Usually I take a screenshot of the reports. It also helps me to see who's falling behind or who's excelling. If I notice that say John was lacking, you know, I can go over and talk to John about coming to extra help as he's struggling with vocabulary. So I know it works when we play it multiple times and then I see that report and their scores are getting higher or we take that test or that quiz and they're getting it right. A lot of kids will verbalize and say, oh, I got that wrong and I say, well, this is the time to get it wrong. Get it wrong on Kahoot and you'll get it right on the test. Having premium full access to Kahoot is a major game changer. I feel like there's no limits with what you can do or how much you can do, which is great, where I don't have to feel like I'm only limited to what I'm looking for or what I can do. So it's great for the kids because they really have a lot more options. It's an engaging, easy to use tool, so it makes my job easier because I'm pushing out a tool that I believe in, but also it's easy to use. You know, in my role, I try to figure it out first for them, and when there are tools that are seamless for them to use in their classroom and integrate, um, this is an easy one. It's a no-brainer, and the kids love it, so it's win-win. <laughs>